active literacy stage one phonics the phonics lesson at stage one should take between 20 and 25 minutes the children will work on phonics each day for four days fun phonics tasks and games can be used on day five for reinforcement if you wish As you can see, two new phonemes are introduced each week until all initial sounds are covered. This is usually comes around the Christmas break. Following this, the children move on to joined phonemes such as sh and ch. As these are more difficult, only one phoneme is covered each week. The programme in the pack is a suggested teaching order, although teachers can be flexible about the order they cover the phonemes. However, we would suggest that teachers stick to the phonemes within each block so that, for example, the sat pin phonemes are covered first. This allows the children to begin simple word building. As you can see, there are also consolidation weeks built in and these allow for further reinforcement and assessment. Reciprocal teaching is a key part of the programme. The reciprocal teaching strategy is often linked to reading, but is actually used in all literacy contexts within this programme. It involves the children working in pairs, taking on the role of the teacher to support and challenge each other. This strategy begins at stage one and is developed throughout the rest of the stages. The teacher should have their own set of magnetic letters for demonstration. These can take a variety of forms such as the pictures shown here. However, many teachers are simply using the Smart Notebook software on their smart board and there are examples of these in the resources section of the Glow Group. The hand showing the five finger strategy of see, make, break, blend, read and write should also be clearly displayed within the classroom. D1 so it starts off with the alphabet being said or sung at the beginning of each lesson and there are many resources online that can support the teacher to do this. The new phoneme should be introduced using a song, a story or a rhyme. Any jolly phonics resources that you have in school are perfect for this. The new sound should be displayed on the teacher's board and the letter formation can be demonstrated at this point. The children in the class should be involved in saying the sound and the teacher should be checking for correct pronunciation. So for example it's not t but t. Tracing the letters on the hand and the floor can also help with the letter formation. Magnetic boards are used by the pupils at primary one and an overlay for term one can be found on page 31 of the pack. The children place the correct letter on the alphabet on their board and practice writing the letter on their boards. The teacher demonstrates word building with the letter. The pupils identify the new sound in the words that the teacher is building and also the sound position. So for example, is the sound at the beginning, in the middle or at the end of the word that the teacher has built. On day two, the lesson starts by revising the previous day's sound. The children trace the letter again on their hand, on the floor, and practice writing the letter on their whiteboard. When enough sounds have been introduced, for example, around week three when the sat pin has been all been introduced, the teacher can model the see, make, break, blend, read, write strategy. This starts with C. So for example, the children would say sat. They would then make sat, pulling down the letters on their magnetic board to form the word. The break part of the program involves the children in separating the letters out and then putting them back together, each time seeing the sound s, a, t. The next part of the programme involves blending. In the past, we have taught the children blends. We now teach blending as a process, involving the children in running their finger under the word and blending the letters together. 
the child then reads the word sat and finally covers the word either with their hand or a piece of paper writes it underneath when they lift their hand or the piece of paper they check to see they have written it correctly on day three and day four the process is repeated with a new sound on day five there can be further practice of the sound and letter formation through a variety of games and activities by term two the children have now built up all initial sounds and are beginning to cover joined phonemes like sh and ch. This is where they start to use Elkonin boxes and a new overlay which can be found on page 42 of the pack is placed on their magnetic boards. One sound goes in each box on an Elkonin box. So for example the word sheep would be sh, e and then p. Watch out that these are sounds or phonemes put in each box and not blends. There are also words that won't fit in Elkonin boxes, for example the word the, or split phonemes such as shape, because the e at the end of the shape is making the a into an a sound, so those two letters would need to go in the same box and therefore the word wouldn't be spelt correctly. Here are some more examples. Train the t and the r sound in train need separate boxes. The ai is taught as one sound making the e sound and the n sits on a box on its own. Thief has three sounds th, e, f. Flight. In this word the children are taught that the igh together make the i sound O I T Flight Station is slightly more difficult and in the past we have always put the T I O N in one all together and we've taught Sean words but when we say that sound Sean it's actually made up of three sounds Sh O N At the end of the stage 3 program the children are taught that the T I makes the Sh sound so this word, although it won't come up in stage one, it's important to understand how they fit into Elkonin boxes. A common query we have about the phonics programme is about differentiation. It's important to assess where the children are and work from there, and there are some assessment materials within the pack. If you have very highly able pupils, you may wish to look at the stage two, three pack it may be possible to keep everyone doing the same activity but with differentiated words or sounds. And children with additional support needs should join the whole class or group lesson with the teacher and then when the others go off to do some more reciprocal teaching activities the class teacher can work with them as a small group or individually. <laughs>